had another dream. Mama was there. Did you see her? Yes. She made me pancakes! I think it was my birthday. Because people always get their favorite food on their birthday. A whole lot of it! Do you have a birthday too? Yeah. Oh! Then, what's your favorite food? Is it pancakes? Wait, do you like pancakes? <laughs> yes. Me too! On my last birthday, I ate ten of them. I was so full I didn't eat anything else that day. My mom makes the best pancakes! And some of the neighbors make really good noodles. And oh, one of our neighbors makes a lot of bread! Do you have any neighbors? Yep. Oh, do they share their food with you? Yeah. Ours do too. Our neighbors and my mama take turns making food for the whole village each day. Everyone also takes turns doing chores and watching the little kids. I don't need to be watched anymore though. I'm old enough to help out. I miss everyone. I've been gone for a while now, haven't I? I wonder if they're worried about me. Uh, speaking of helping out, we should probably go now. Oh, hey. Welcome back. That sure took you a while, huh? Oh, shoot! You've been waiting this whole time? And holding the door open? Well, I, uh, didn't want to be rude. I'm sorry. I should have told you to go on ahead. Eh, don't worry about it. Taking a while. Mm -hmm. Oh goodness gracious, I'm stuck in an elevator with Messiah and also literally God himself. This is awkward. Oh, maybe we can chat to pass the time then. You heard me? Uh, I mean, sh sure. Alright, player, should I? Ask about his job. So, what do you do at your job? You seem really busy. I, uh... I fix lights, mostly, but now I also deliver and refill high-energy phosphor to structures that need them. High energy? You know, the super concentrated glowy stuff they had to process in factories. It's what powers most of the city's stuff. Ooh. We used to have a small army of delivery robots doing that, but lately a bunch of them have been breaking down. So until they fix them, I'll just have more work on my plate. I haven't slept in so long. When will the robots get fixed? I have no idea. It's all up to the scientists over the labs. But they seem really concerned about something else lately. Oh? Never a good sign when even the smart folks are worried. Alright. Player, should I...? Ask about this city. This city is very big! It's smaller than it looks. Getting pretty crowded, too. First there was the refugees from the Barrens, and now more Glen folks are moving in, too. Oh? It's just safer here, you know? I mean, it's not a haven by any means. That square stuff that we just saw? We get more of that here than anywhere else, apparently. I noticed. We're lucky it only seems to affect the city's infrastructure. The landmass itself is still holding up. Which is good, since there isn't much solid land here in the first place. Alright. Player, should I...? Ask about the library. Can you tell me about the library? I'm supposed to go there. Oh yeah, that's one of my main delivery spots. Those reading lights are pretty high maintenance. But I always feel out of place surrounded by smart people. Well, I guess you're pretty smart yourself, so you'll fit in fine. You and player. Anyway, it was nice meeting you. Uh... Nico. Right. See you around, kid. Gotta run now. He seems in a hurry. I guess we should hurry too, player. People are counting on us. Let's go find that library.
Did you see what happened? Yeah? My vision went blank for a second, and then I saw something? Like a really short dream. I wonder what that was about. It's strangely warm in this room. Oh, a cat. Are you lost? Me? Do you wish to join us? Join... your cats? Yes. But I'm not a cat. I don't walk on four legs like they do. You have cat eyes. My eyes are normal people eyes. Well, normal back home. Your hat is shaped like a cat. But I'm just a person. You are still welcome here. I protect lost people as well. Thanks. But I'm not lost, though. I've got player to guide me. I see. Fox just now? It just ran behind the tree. Oh, um... I'm sorry if you're looking for me, but... I cannot talk to you. Not now. Um... But... Can you promise me something? Huh? If... You can find a way to return... Please do. Uh... What... Do you mean by that? No reply. There's no one here. A lantern plant. And there's a note attached. It says, Thank you for working so hard, Mr. Lamplighter. There's some big plastic discs in here. Looks like they're supposed to go in something? Wait... Player, are we really gonna take these with us? They look so heavy. <sighs> Alright. Hey! They're actually pretty light! a bit dry. Good thinking, player. This water should really help the seed grow. It sprouted a tiny leaf. Good luck, little plant.
Hello, person. The library is up ahead. Thanks. Excuse me. Oh, you are the Messiah. Welcome. When I first entered the city, a big robot told me to look for a library on the surface. This is the same library, right? Affirmative. Oh, goody. Well, we're here. What do we do now? The big robot only said there'd be clues here. That is a question for the head librarian, George. Allow me to call her. not picking up. Is she not here? She is here. She is in the archival room upstairs. When she is concentrating on her work, she will ignore any and all phone calls for several days. Yikes. Can you go get her in person then? Leaving this post is not in my programming. Then can I go myself? Of course. The archival room is accessible through this stairwell behind me. Gotcha! Thanks! An authorized entry! Library card required for further access. Wait, what? A library card required for further access. I don't have a library card, though. Where can I get one? This is a question for the head librarian, George. Allow me to call her. not picking up. I figured. Are you sure you can't just let me through? Letting you through without a library card is against my programming. What? Even in an emergency? My programming is not flexible. I have not been tamed. Hey, you looking for something? Yeah, I need to go find a library card now. Any idea where I can get one? From... the library? I tried that already! The person in charge wasn't here! Oh, uh... maybe check out the factory? You just take the stairs at the end of this street and make a turn. There's a lot of scientists there. Scientists... read books, right? They might help you. In order to gain further access to the labs, you must pass the security system test. The... Huh? You must change the color of the lights into a specific configuration. Allow me. One. Lights. Correct. Access. Denied. Nine. Tries left. Zero. Lights correct. Access denied. Eight. Tries left. One. Lights correct. Access denied. Seven. Tries left. Two. Lights correct. Access denied. Tries left. Three. Lights correct. Access denied. Five. Tries 
left. Three, lights correct. Access denied. Four, tries left. Five, lights correct. Access granted. My robot! What happened? I don't know. I left for a minute and... I wonder what the author would do in this situation. Dr. Silverpoint usually references his works. I can barely keep my eyes open. Man, how does Dr. Silverpoint get all that energy? None of us have been sleeping very well in light of recent events. The square particles took out a few of my robots last week. And... She fell asleep. Hello? Huh? Oh, shoot! If I'd known you'd be here so soon, I would've turned off the darn lock. Hello there. Sorry about the weird security measures. It's okay. Player helped me solve it. Did they now? So, can I help you with anything? Yeah. Do you know how I can get a library card? A library card? <laughs> You'll have to ask the library for that. I tried. I need it to see the head librarian, but I can't get to see her without a library card. But at the same time, she's the one who gives out library cards. Really? <laughs> that sounds like George, all right. I'm sorry you caught her on a bad day. Aw. Wait, I know. I can just give you my library card. It won't be hard for me to get another one. Wow, thanks! There. You're all set, I think. Wait. Shoot! I forgot. The front desk library bots have facial recognition. And my photo on the card won't match you... <laughs> unless I tape a photo of my face to your face. Um... That was a joke. Who knows? Maybe you'll get lucky and the robot will take it anyway. Worst comes to worst, you can always find somewhere to take a photo. Something's poking up from the shelf. The two of glitter glue. You can have that if you want. You never know when you need to glitter things up, right? Oh, are you sure? Yeah, I have tons of those. Thank you. So, you've been walking all over the world, huh? Mm-hmm. Jeez, I can't imagine. Do you get really tired sometimes? Kinda. But I don't mind. It's actually really pretty. <laughs> I'm glad you think so. Even with the sun gone, the world is still a beautiful place. What did the world look like with the sun? Oh, uh... You know, it's kind of embarrassing to admit how little of it I've actually seen. Oh? Ironic, isn't it? Even though I'm the world's leading researcher, all I do is stay here and build robots. They're the ones exploring the world. I just write down the data, crunch numbers, generate graphs. Right. Well, I've been seeing robots everywhere. I just thought it was because the world was too dangerous for most people to explore. That's not far from the truth, actually. But I know someone who still does his research firsthand. Oh? Even after segments of land started collapsing and access to the more remote areas became difficult. I mean, he outright built a machine that could fly. Something we all thought was not physically possible. Oh! That's... I asked him about working with us, so he provides us with all sorts of insights from time to time. But for some reason, he really didn't want to build robots. Or, more specifically, coding them. How come? Pete's me. I mean, he's happy to work with robots. In fact, he even... Uh, that's been a while since we last talked. He must be busy with his books now. Yeah. Hey, player? Doesn't the lady look kind of familiar to you? I wonder if she's related to the robot lady who gave me the amber. I almost want to ask her about it. Should I? Oh? That's... How... Did you get this? This robot lady in the Barrens gave it to me. She looked... Kinda like you. I see. <sighs> it 
It was supposed to be such a breakthrough, you know? I even based her on myself so I'll know it works. Breakthrough? We wanted to build a robot that acts like a person, thinks like a person. A robot that isn't bound by its own code. Oh! But it turns out you can't really build something like that. Too many contradictions in the code made her unstable. That was the only time I've ever seen a robot go rogue. Scariest day of my life, tell you what. Rogue? But she seemed so nice when we talked. Even if she talked a little weird. Uh, she's been repaired for some time now. My friend was able to stabilize her volatile state through his own means. A real miracle worker, that. After he was through, she ended up turning out just like how I wanted. But the damage was already done. I gave up on her back then. We all did. I'm sure she realized that. Now she won't ever come back. She won't even answer my letters. I'm sorry. Uh, sorry for rambling. You should hold on to that amber, okay? I will! Are you here for your photos? Actually, yeah! I need to take a picture for... reasons. Well, I got good news and bad news. The good news is that the photo center is right behind me. The bad news is that it doesn't work, right? <laughs> You're catching on quick. After operations ended in the Barrens, this place got shut down. All the engineers lost their jobs and became street vendors. Maybe Player and I can figure it out from them. That's good. It would certainly help out people with expired IDs. Like me. Can you tell me how to get the camera working again? Yes, yes, certainly. The thick lens should be positioned to the left of both of the curved lenses. Is there anything you remember about how to work the camera? Let me see. When arranging the lenses, make sure that the thin lens is positioned between the two curved ones. one of the camera engineers, right? The camera? Oh, joyous memories! We went through thick and thin together. And by that I mean the concave lens did. Can you tell me how to fix the camera? Hmm. It's been a while. I'm pretty sure that the bulgy lens goes on one of the ends, but I forget which. do anything. on it now. Authenticating barcode. Executing facial recognition. Photo match. Successful. You're good to go. Have a nice day, Miss Kip. Maybe I should have changed the name. So, someone here to see the brilliant George, eh? Caught wind of my genius and couldn't help but come see for yourself, eh? 
Um. Don't answer. Of course you are. What else could you possibly want? Actually, I need your help. Can you tell me what I need to do? I think I'm supposed to go in the tower. Oh, but of course I can help. For I, the brilliant and intelligent head librarian George, beholder of all knowledge, believe you're supposed to go in the tower. That's what I said. But how, exactly? Through the tower entrance room. Alas, going beyond that small entrance room requires ancient forbidden knowledge that eludes even George. But fear not! If that knowledge happens to be recorded in some cryptic tome in a long dead language, then know that I, George, am fluent in several dead languages. I see. Oh! I do have this book, though. I think it's written in some sort of... words I don't recognize. Aha! Uh -huh, an ancient book! Written by no less than the most ancient- wait a minute. This isn't ancient at all! But it's written in a dead language nevertheless. It's time for me to unleash my brilliance! For George, me, possessor of at least one PhD, shall translate this. This will take some time, however. I see. Excuse me. Oh, what's this? You are sleepy? A little. Fear not, because I have read a book on hospitality before, and thus have prepared for this exact situation. Guest rooms in the attic down the hall. A book is poking out from the shelf. Another fruitful visit to the great prophet today. She seemed high in spirits. She told me that she saw another glimpse of Messiah's arrival more vivid than ever before. The Messiah will wake up in a dark house. She said the vision included lights from a window and the sound of footsteps on wood floor. <sighs> Regrettably, she is unsure of the house's location. Raucus was also present at the meeting. I ended up visiting his house late and we swapped notes. He has been very vigilant on recording the Prophet's day-to-day -day musings and his writing has been significantly more legible lately. His children were endearing as ever. The older child, Calamus, has expressed an interest in reading. I offered to teach him as I did his father. A book is poking out from the shelf. Uh, this looks like a sketchbook of some sort. 910-45-22, Wednesday. Another still life of some objects on my desk. Still not very good, but Silver can recognize the objects at least. 910-45-23, Thursday. Various sketches. Practice. A book is poking out from the shelf. Hey, I think this book is actually about clovers. Although its pigmentation is primarily black, the leaves display incredible iridescence when exposed to sunlight. These curious plants are most resilient and can even thrive in the metallic sand and harsh climate of the barrens. In the glen, it can also grow directly on top of the moss layer without competing with the moss for resources. Radiocarbon dating of fossils suggests that these plants may be the first life forms to colonize our world. The book is poking out from the shelf. Thankfully, Dr. Silverpoint's team was able to replicate our prototype. On the right is an updated sketch of some of the modifications of the external design. More importantly, we used a radically different architecture for the microprocessor due to limited resources this time, but it still should be capable of delivering the late prophet's message. The team suggested that taming was a lost cause. The book is on the ground. But she deeply believed in the multiverse theory. Regarding alternate versions, she likened the probability to the rolling of dice. 
Recently, I found that theory easier and easier to believe, but I could not describe it very well back then. Nevertheless, I still wrote it to the best of my abilities. After all, it felt only right to honor her this way. There are six. Which one did you encounter? I'm a little tired from walking. Is it alright if I take a nap? Yes, 